Got it! Super flex to the middle. Then. The gold around the waist. You know, you're no stranger to, to being uh, uh, siding with somebody with some gold around their waist. Well, I mean, if we're going with that, Joe Keys, I mean, look, he has gold around his waist right now. So. Fair point. Yeah, that is fair, but I'm talking about championship gold. Uh, Kim, you know, some said you were a bit of a gold digger back in the day. I mean, you, you ditched Soda Pop Ronnie Zuko for Romeo Valentino when he had the title. That was all based on success and title. Well, speaking of just ripping apart your opponent, breaking some hearts, Joe Key's looking to break the heart of every MCW fan that loves Kakoa here by dismantling him. Look at the, like... The snap that Joe Keys has with his offense. Look at the purpose he has behind each and every one of his maneuvers. The man is a like a human porcupine in a bad mood. The man is like a bitter cup of coffee. The bitter cup of coffee. Yeah, dude, Mecca is more of a human porcupine. I mean, Joe Keys, the package looks nice. The talent is there. You want to drink that cup of coffee, and they're like, oh, my God, this is disgusting. It's, it's bitter. It's been sitting out too long. You're not even sure when the pot was made. Who made this? Yeah. Yeah, was this? Oh, God, who made Was it Darcy from accounting? Did she make this? This is all she sucks at making coffee. Do not drink it when she does. Okay, there we see the hard form chivers. Joe Key's reversing that predicament. Up and over goes Kakoa. Oh, big double chop. And another follows. Joe Key's ripping and running. Back fist. What a combination by the Hawaiian Warrior. Flattening Joe Key's to the mat. The initial, the initial advantage going to Kakoa. And what are we looking for here, Ricky? Going for that patented super kick. Oh. Oh. Got it! Now Early right on! To the jaw. This is going to be a short night, folks. Short night for Joe Keys and Kakoa. Kakoa yes. looking to retain early. Looking for that signature frog splash from the top rope. Wait a minute. Is that Bro, Bro Keller? The other half of Seduce and Destroy. That Ichabod Crane guy, looking guy. You know, he's very capable, but... Oh! Super kick like for his spider troubles. monkey. Yeah, one, one. Hold on, this could be it. Not like this. Well, he's the got the time. He's the time. New champ. Here is your winner and new MCW Rage TV Champion, Joe Key. History has been rewritten. All has been made right in the world, in the world of Joe Keys and Bro Keller. It's as if it never happened. This is where you wish for instant replay. You said that the winners are uh, were thieves. Joe Keys, Bro Keller, they're the they're the thieves of season's beating. Well, they're like thieves in the night, but they're gonna get the hell out of here with that title. I wouldn't wait around too long. Wow, man! Once again, Joe Keys plays spoiler and gets exactly what he wants. Though I can't think of anybody more worthy, more fitting to be. What the? Heck? Oh, Brent, here's your favorite person. I thought a penguin wandered out in the stage. <laughs> Our general manager, Phil Stamper. What exactly is he so angry about, though? Well, if you had on that tight belt, you'd be angry, too. Well, I think he's tired of the shenanigans. Jump, there are I'm shenanigans. Whoa, well, I thought this was a PG show. Think, uh, I've never I heard a man refer to having a bad week. I am not. <laughs> I'm not going to change the decision of the official. Oh, Pete Rizkorn flakes that his mom made this morning. He had a cup of joe. But I think Kapoa deserves a rematch, don't you? Since the two of you keep wanting to get involved, how about the two of you together 
your team up tonight. And if you guys win, Joe Keats walks away. I'm still to register the title. I don't have an issue. You guys win that fair and square. Joe walks away champion. But, you know, since, since we announced that December 30th is going to be our last event here in the MCW Arena, everybody keeps calling us saying, hey, I want to be on the event. I want to be here with MCW. I want to have one more match in the MCW Arena. And one of those people is here tonight. He's unable to be here on the 30th, but he's here tonight. And so you know what, I'm gonna have him team with Kokoa. And Kokoa, if you or your partner win in your match, you become and regain the MCW Rage Television Champion. Jeez. Making up the rules as he goes along, so but the people this love time, it. Let me introduce Kokoa's tag team partner. Who's it gonna be, Brandon Scott? No way! You gotta be kidding me! There's no way he's here. He's somewhere in AEW and he's at Rampage or Dynamite. Oh my god! The man of the hour, Leo Rush, returns! And the roof at 1000 Joppa Farm Road at the MCW Arena just blew off. Boy, they're turning this place into a Planet Fitness. They're going to need a new ceiling and a new roof. Leo Rush, the prize student, the crown jewel of MCW, has returned home. The first back-to-back -back Shamrock champion. The man who actually took the Rage TV championship from Joe Keyes back at Bruiser Strong, and he could possibly be the reason that happens again tonight. How apropos, how poetic, how fitting. Leo Rush, last Joe Keys. You know, these two trained together, they started together. Leo Rush, though, has surpassed, obviously, Joe Keys in success and being in a major promotion, but Joe Keys definitely bitter about it and looking to get to exact some revenge now he gets his hands again on Leo Rush. Oh, bro Keller gets hard chop from Gakoa. Boy, this one spilled out early. Did it not, Kim? I mean, if you're Joe Keys, you went from being bitter because you had a match, bitter because you won your match, and now you're bitter because you're getting your butt kicked by Leo Rush. Hey, listen to that crowd. They love the man of the hour. We've seen a lot of come. We've seen a lot of go, Kim, in MCW. Has there anybody ever come through these doors with the impact and the talent of a Leo Rush, in your opinion? No. No, I, I needed a second there to think, but I can't think of anyone. He, he, I mean, the guy is, un, he, he reminds me, he's on the level of a Rey Mysterio during his day, an amazing red during his day. And, and AJ Styles during his day is innovation. The guy has totally innovated, and I believe they're gonna look back on his contributions. The cruiserweight, that fast-paced style. Nobody does it like Leo Rush. Nobody does it better. He's so unique, so talented, so gifted. And he came right here from the MCW Pro Wrestling Training Center. And you can check out MCW Pro Wrestling Training Center on MCWProWrestling.com if you want to sign up and think you have what it takes to enter that squared circle. And Bro Keller may be consider reconsidering his uh, decision to enter the squared circle here tonight as Kokoa headbutting the big uh, Bro Keller on that top rope. What's he thinking here? Oh, superplex to the middle of the ring, and it looks like that headbutt. Just split open the wig and brow, the proficient brow of Bro Keller. Bro Keller at the Ichabod Crane build, he can make that tag from three quarters away across the ring. Oh, but Kakoa makes that tag to Leo, something that Joe Keith probably did not want at all. Or maybe he did. Maybe he wants some uh, exact some so. revenge. No, I. <laughs> look, maybe not now. I mean, look at how seamless. It's like. 
It's like a video game, like a comic book. The man moves like nobody else in the sport. Look at this. There we go. The fake out. Jokies cannot get on page. The roll up. Oh, the spinning kick. I almost feel bad for Joe. Almost. That keyword was almost. <laughs> Look at that, the Enziguri. Leo Rush, the man of the hour, is telling him what time it is. Tag out to Kokoa. Remember, if Leo and Kokoa are victorious, that Rage TV title changes hands again for a second time tonight. Down goes Kokoa. That, that, that springboard shortstop sawed off stunner. Ooh. I think Kokoa is the legal man with that super kick. What are they thinking? Both of them like to implore that frog splash, Ricky. That's exactly what they're thinking. From the top of the burning building, here they go in stereo! Frog splashes galore! And that means that Kokoa, yeah, he's he's the Rage Television Champion again! Everything as it should be, boys. Everything as it should be. Oh, great, and I just thought about something. That probably gives Joe Keyes the shortest Rage Television Championship reign. Great, another thing that he's going to be bitter about. Joe Keyes could find a reason to, uh, to bitch and moan about $2 million, you know? <laughs> the guy's never going to be happy. Wow, what a moment. What a moment here at Seasons Beatings. Leo Rush, the man of the hour, has returned to MCW. Leo Rush has returned home. this is what's capping it all off. 
at least for me, there's still one last show here at the MCW Arena, and I hope that each and every single last one of you are, he are here for that. Because um, not only is this a place that I helped build, this is a place that everybody in the back helped build. This is a place, this is a place where R.J. Meyer, AKA the Bruiser, built. And whether you wanna believe it or not, this is a place where each and every single last one of you built. Now, I don't want to take up too much of your time because we still have a second half to go. But from the bottom of my heart, and I mean this, I mean this, from the bottom of my heart, I want to say thank you so much for everything that you've done for me, for everything that you've done for MCW, and for everything that you guys have done for the world of professional wrestling. Thank you so much. I promise, even though this is my last time here in this building, I can guarantee you it isn't the last time I'm gonna see each and every single last one of you. I promise you that. So again, thank you. I love you guys, and I mean that. Even the audio system agrees with me. <laughs> but again, thank you. I appreciate you. Keep that energy for the second half of this show. But in the meantime, I'm in the gift of giving, and I will be signing some autographs, taking some pictures with you guys, and selling a little bit of merch, along with the rest of the guys and the girls in the back. So thank you again, and until next time, continue to feel the rush.